Welcome to Elections 101 in 5, a program that breaks down the complex aspects of Nigeria's electoral process and the 2022 Electoral Act. On this program, we focus on the how and not who to vote. This is brought to you by Yaiga Africa and supported by the UNDP. My name is Samson Itodo. Let's get started. How is a voter accredited to vote in Nigeria? That's our question for tonight how voters are accredited to vote in Nigeria. We went on the streets, and here is what we got. Okay, it's for us to get our voters card ready. First of all, when you get to your center, you have to check first if your name is on the list. Before you vote, you need to be accredited. Okay. I don't really understand it. First things first, uh, you must be at least 18 years of age, then you must be an adult. Uh, secondly, uh, you must be a registered voter. Then if your name is there, then the due process, you know, will be followed. No, I don't know. So do you like to tell me? Well, to answer that question, following the fantastic responses from the street, accreditation is the process of verifying that a person is eligible to vote in a polling unit. Accreditation of voters is used to achieve four main goals. Number one, accreditation is used to check whether the name of a person intending to vote is on the voters register for that particular polling unit. The second goal is accreditation is used to verify the identity of a voter either using their fingerprints or their official identity. Number three, Accreditation is used to verify that the person presenting a PVC is the person whose name appears on the card. And the fourth goal is that the accreditation of voters is used to determine whether a voter is in the right polling unit where he or she has been assigned to vote. And so for a lot of people who ask the question, why is accreditation important in an election? The reason why accreditation of voters is important is because when accreditation of voters is conducted, it prevents multiple voting, voting by proxy, and it ensures only qualified persons vote in an election. In other words, voter accreditation prevents election rigging and manipulation. Now, according to Section 47 of the Electoral Act, an intending voter shall present him or herself with his or her voting card or voter's card to a presiding officer for accreditation at his or her polling unit. So on election day, when you arrive at the polling unit, the presiding officer will verify or authenticate your particulars, and in this case, your fingerprints, your facial, as well as your PVC, using the bimodal voter accreditation system known as the BVAS. So for the upcoming election, this implies that only after you have been successfully authenticated using the BVAS and you are certified to be an eligible voter, only then you can vote. So note, no PVC, no accreditation. And no accreditation, no voting. Now you know how a voter will be accredited before voting in next year's election. INEC has announced that PVC collection starts on the 12th of December and it will end on Sunday, the 22nd of January, 2023. So if you're registered and you've not collected your PVC, visit INEC local government offices across the country between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. daily, including Saturdays and Sundays. And that's Elections 101 in 5. Now you can watch previous episodes of the show on our YouTube channel. We would also like to hear from you, so reach out to us on any of the social platforms on your screen. Thank you for watching. I am Samson Itodo. Remember, your vote can make a difference. Use it wisely. Bye for now.